what's going on guys today we will be building this real estate chatbot if i go ahead and say hi the chatbot is going to reply hello i am mark your personal chatbot to guide you through the process of buying and leasing a property in chicago would you like to rent or buy a property let's say i want to buy a property what kind of property do you want to buy I'm looking for a multiple story house with a terrace and the chatbot is going to list the two properties that we have that are similar to this description or with this description that the user provided. So here we have the list of all of the properties that we have. This is a short demo list. This can be thousands of properties if necessary. And the chatbot is going to search through all of these lists. It's going to understand what the properties are, the meaning behind everything, and it's going to return the properties that match users query. What is the pricing for the modern townhouse? And tell me more about it. And here it gave the pricing and it described the house in more detail. So now I'm going to show you how to build this chatbot. So on the BotPress website, we are going to create a new chatbot. We're going to go ahead and press edit. We will start from a template that is basic empty template. We're going to create a new node, standard node, and we are going to click here and add a text field. So this text field, let's say we are going to say greetings. This is going to be the first message that we sent. We are going to add another message, another text field below that. And I'm going to give it this text to send as a message. So we can test this already. If I go here and say test your chatbot, I can just say hi. It's going to send me these two messages. After that, we are going to add a new card that is single choice. So here we will ask the user, do you want to buy or rent a property? And we will add two options. The first will be buy and the second will be rent. So if they choose to buy, we're going to get this buy node and we're going to create a new standard node here. Rename this to buy. And now we're going to click on this new node and we're going to say enable knowledge answering. This enables our chatbot to use our knowledge about our properties that we give it. And now we need to give it that knowledge. So to give it that knowledge, go here on the left side menu and press add knowledge base. Rename this to property knowledge base, for example. After that, we need to go ahead and click knowledge base source. We can add, for example, let's say plain text. Now this is not a way to do like a very complex application. This is a way to do like this simple demo. I will leave all of the knowledge in the description below the video so you can copy it. Paste it here in the plain text field. Now it's important not to paste it into the description field. As a next step we will go here to agents, knowledge agent. Make sure this is enabled and make sure answer on start node is disabled. We want to wait for the user to ask a question. And now we're gonna add a new input field in the buy node. We need this one, raw input. The question we're going to ask is what kind of property do you want to buy? This is going to answer, the bot is going to answer automatically. We don't need to add anything else when it comes to answering. After that, we're going to add an expression. In the case bot cannot find an answer in the knowledge base or user asks about something unrelated, we're going to add an expression, pull a node here, create another standard node. We're going to send a message, text message. I was not able to find an answer in the knowledge base. So in order for chatbot to transition into this message that it wasn't able to find the answer, we need to give it a condition. The condition we need here has the following syntax. We're going to do exclamation mark turn dot knowledge agent dot responded. So there is an object called turn. This contains certain information about the current turn of whoever is responding. It has a property knowledge agent and knowledge agent has a property responded. This will return true or false depending on if the agent was able to find answer in the knowledge base. So if the agent responded, this will return as true, but we don't want true. We want false because we want this to be true when agent hasn't responded. We're going to say in condition, we're going to say condition true. So this will always be true. So this will just so if it doesn't exit here, the previous expression, it will always exit here. And now let's create another node. Let's add raw input again. And we're going to ask another question. Do you have any other questions? And we are going to add an expression that will always return true. And it will loop back in the same node. So the user can ask questions infinitely. Let's test our chatbot right now. Okay, so before we do that, let's just start a new conversation and say hi. Greetings, I'm Mark. Do you want to buy or rent a property? Let's say I want to buy a property. So for some reason, sometimes BotPress doesn't work. Maybe they have some internal bugs. They will probably fix it, but if it doesn't work, you can refresh the entire page. Okay, now it works. Hi, do you want to buy or rent a property? Buy. What kind of property do you want to buy? What kind of properties 
do you have to offer? And then it listed all of the properties we have in our current database. Do you have any other questions? What is the price of the cozy studio apartment? Now, it did not actually answer anything to me because I forgot to enable uh, knowledge answering on this node. So we need to go here on this node that was about uh, other questions and we need to enable knowledge answering right here. So do you have another question? Let me copy paste this question again. The price of the cozy studio apartment is $1,200 a month. And now let's actually try to give it like some random question. What is the size of Jupiter? I was not able to find an answer in the knowledge base. So after it says it wasn't able to find an answer, we want to ask it what is its next uh, question. We're gonna add an expression that will always be true. Bot press is sometimes buggy. Maybe there are too many people using it, I don't know, but they will hopefully fix it. So we're gonna transition into this node about the next question. What is your next question? So as you can see, we have not implemented renting, but I will leave that to you. You go here and then you do the same as buying. Start a new node, rename it renting, and then enable knowledge base answering. And then you ask the questions, what kind of property do you want to rent? It's the same as buying, just change the words. If you have any other questions or maybe you have some requests for some kind of tutorials, what tutorials you want me to make, leave it in the comments below. See you in the next video.